Good day to all my students in Industrial Electronics Laboratory. Today we are going to perform our second experiment, set priority latching and unlatching circuit for release. Okay, so let's now open our simulation software, Festo Fluid Sim. Okay, so once the software is up, you open a new uh, circuit so let's start uh, getting our sources so let's get uh, 24 volts as well as our zero volts okay so let's rotate this one uh, 180 click rotate 180 okay so we can actually uh, align this one okay so let's highlight this one then align vertically okay so we can also copy this one can drag this one here this is for our uh, control circuit and our uh, load circuit okay so let's adjust a little bit okay so now let's get our relay so let's get our relay so this one Let's, uh, let's rotate this one now remember that the circuit on the left side here will be our control circuit on the right side will be our uh, load circuit so you have to always bear in mind that when you uh, connect in actual circuit always separate se using relays always separate the load and the control circuit okay so let's get a push button uh, normally open push button this one here okay and then let's get uh, auxiliary switch and alarm okay so let us rotate this one as well as this one If we label this one as R one, then this will also be R one. Okay. So if we run the simulation, okay. so if we press the push button, really. R1 will be energized and the normally open contact closes and the lamp uh, uh, energizes. But if we release, so it will go back to its initial uh, state which is off. So latching is uh, just the same as locking. So if we do a uh, uh, latching uh, connection we will just connect another normally open so let's stop the simulation first so let's get a normally open uh, 
switch okay and let's connect it in parallel with our uh, push button okay now if this is r1 okay let's drag this here a little bit if this is r1 and this is also r1 let us also label this as r1 okay now as you can see if we press this push button energizing even a momentary pressing of this post button we will energize R1 as the normally open auxiliary contact will close as well as this one will close so once we release the post button this uh, R1 will remain close because it will uh, provide a latching or a locking path to our relay okay so if we run the simulation If we press this one and release, so even though we have released the the push button, the the relay is uh, remain the relay remains ener uh, energized, thereby energizing our lamp. Okay, but for this circuit, we don't have an unlatching to unlock this one. So for the, for the meantime, we will just turn off the simulation in order to unlatch. Okay, if we run the simulation again, so if we press and release, it will latch. Now let's stop and let's uh, make an unlatching circuit to unlock. But uh, let us do a set priority latching circuit. So again, we will we will uh, get another push button here, and let us use another relay. Let us make this relay as R two. So this is our other relay. So let's rotate this one. So let us connect this one connect it here and this one let us uh, connect it here okay so let us label this as R2 and since we are going to make a set priority uh, unlocking so let us uh, disconnect Let's add a normally close uh, contact. Okay. So this is a normally close. Okay. So let us rotate this. is now a normally closed contact and this normally closed contact will be connected in series with a normally closed contact normally open contact of R1 but this is a normally closed contact of R2 okay so these two auxiliary contacts are for R1 and this one auxiliary contact is for R2 but this is normally closed so this is what will happen so we can label this as tb1 push button one and we can label this as push button two okay so if we run the simulation if we press this one it will latch but if we press push button two energizing r2 Therefore, this normally closed R2 will open. Unlatching R1. Okay. 
So we have now unlatched the circuit. Press push button 1, latch. Press push button 2, this is unlatch. Okay, why do we call this set priority? We call this set priority because if we press both push buttons at the same time, the relay R1 will always be set or will be energized. Okay, so if we press this one, latch and latch. So if we press uh, uh, let us stop the simulation. If we uh, because we cannot press uh, both push button at the same time. So let me see. So if we single step. No. So if we press this one and also press this one. If we press push both push button the the obviously both uh, uh, R1 will always be set. That's why we call this a set priority latching and unlatching circuit. Okay, it's very obvious that if we press both push buttons, which we cannot do uh, for the simulation, if we press this one, this is a complete circuit. If we press this one, it's a complete circuit. So regardless whether R2 will open, push button 1 will always energize or will always set R1. That's why we call this uh, a set priority latching and unlatching circuit. So again, if we press push button 1 and release, still uh, R1 is set or energized. Press push button 2 and latch. Okay. Now for your... For your activity, for your task 2, task 2 will be, you have to draw a two-lamp set priority latching and a latching circuit. So, in this uh, simulation, I only have two lamps. So, you add another lamp here and you modify the circuit of push button 2 so that you will be able to latch also the second lamp. Because we have only we have only one lamp here. So if we label this as I uh, know as a yellow color, we label this as a lamp one. The second diagram here, or the second circuit here, or second ladder diagram here, will be another uh, another lamp. So your activity will be to. Uh, draw a two lamp set priority latching and latching circuit and you just base your drawing on the simulation okay so if we run the simulation again so this is press and release latch press and release and latch press and release latch press and release and latch okay if we press pull both push buttons at the same time this is this R1 will always be set that's why we call this set priority latching and latching circuit